Thank you. Well, if you ever got one, you know kidney stones can be a painful problem, and the food you can eat, well, believe it or not, it could have an impact on whether you get them or not. Here to break it all down for us, Dr. Joshua Stein, urologist at Hartford Healthcare, Tallwood Urology and Kidney Institute. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so doctor, let's start with what exactly is a kidney stone, but aside from the most painful thing, one of the most that you could go through. Yeah, certainly they're painful. Well, a kidney stone is actually formed when there's an imbalance of chemicals which form in the urine. So they actually precipitate and they make a rock or a stone which actually can pass and get stuck. And that's usually what causes the pain. Okay, and when we talk about the type of food, the diet that you have, how could that influence kidney stones? Well, you know, everything that we eat eventually goes through our body and is excreted as waste of some sort. And some of that waste ends up coming out in the urinary tract. So depending on what we eat and what gets filtered through the kidney, some substances will end up accumulating in the kidney and can precipitate and lead to kidney stones. And some of those substances are things like calcium or oxalate, which are found in various foods, uric acid, which can be found in certain types of animal protein, and also some other things that we don't often think about, like salt in our diet, can actually lead to certain things accumulating in the kidney as well. Okay. When you have a kidney stone, let's talk about some of the kinds of treatments available to make sure that uh, you don't get one. Yeah, so there's really two things that we're looking at. You know, we talk about treatment of kidney stones. So if you're actually in an acute attack, Usually that would be a surgical treatment in most cases, either to try to blast the stone with a shockwave treatment or remove it with a laser. Um, but once the stone is gone, we also want to focus on prevention of stones. And that's where we're really looking at diet as a key factor in trying to prevent stones. So in some cases, if we limit certain factors in the diet or if we alter the diet or if we are able to um, convince patients to increase their fluid intake, particularly during the summer months when it's hotter, we certainly can make an impact in preventing stones. Now, someone believes, uh, well, maybe someone might not know, but there actually are different types of kidney stones. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, sure. You know, most of the stones, about 70% that we see are actually some form of calcium, typically calcium oxalate. Um, but we also see uric acid stones. We see calcium phosphate stones. We see a number of uh, less common stones. So it's important if we're able to remove a stone or if a patient passes a stone, we can actually have it analyzed. We can do some tests and we can try to figure out exactly what type of stone it is and therefore we can work on figuring out the cause and potential treatments. Well, there's a lot of information that you have and in fact, you have an upcoming webinar. Tell us a little bit more about this for someone who might be interested. Yeah, exactly. So on Tuesday, August 24th, we're gonna be putting on a webinar uh, I'll be delivering that as a joint webinar with some of our colleagues from Nutrition. So um, what we'll be doing is I'll be presenting on some of the basics of kidney stones, um, a little bit more in detail of some of the things that we've touched on here today. And then our nutritionists will pick up and they'll talk about some general guidelines for um, dietary changes to prevent stones as well as some, as well as some specific situations where uh, certain people may be at higher risk and can have some specific alterations in their diet to prevent stones. Okay, doctor, thank you so much for joining us and for all that information. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.